Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C49S, size 12. I would normally tie this on a smaller hook, but I don't think you'd see it on the camera. So this is a little kind of pearlescent bead I buy from the hobby shop. We'll just put this on. I uh, fish with this pattern a real lot. Just put the black tine thread on there to secure the bead, make sure it's not slipping. There we are. Then what we need is some uh, parapost, winging material. So how I tie this in. This will be for the post. Loose turns. Just trim that off. Like so, if you don't do it like that, it tends to have a lot of small cut ends sticking out. And we can just go back over this end. That's good. Now, what we need next is ultra wire from UTC. This is white, perfect for the zebra midge. So we just take a length of that. Just unwind my tying thread. And you make this midge as short in the body or as long in the body as you like. I like a, a longer slender tapered body. So we go down to that and then we go back up again. And try and give the body a little bit of a taper up here. I like it to get a little bit thicker towards the thorax. That'll do us. So we go up here now. And Make a few wraps around the post just to strengthen it for when we put the hackle on. You have to go a little bit higher here because we want the peacock curl thorax to go in there. I'll do us and go back down. Now we could put our white ribbon. If any of you have fished with the zebra midge, you'll know how effective it is. And I find this works absolutely brilliant, even if there are no midges hatching as an attractor, trike will pick it up. So we'll go to that and just tie that off. Come back to the first segment and we'll just remove that with friction. There we are. That's good. Then I've stripped one side off a grizzle hackle, which we're going to use for the parachute. So we'll just tie this in up the post base back down again tie the end in there we go very good and what I like to do is just take a tiny drop of varnish or head cement super glue whatever you use onto the post there that just stiffens it up a wee bit then we go back here like so and a length of peacock hurl tie that in there that hackle's too long that off. If 
if you can hear that sliding sound, that's ice falling off the roof here. It's full winter at the moment. So we'll put an ha a hackle plier on that peacock hull and we'll move our tying thread to the front. Just a couple of winds behind and then we're going front of the post. And the glass bead is a nice touch here uh, as the gas bubble for a parachute. I've not seen them on parachutes before and it works. It doesn't affect the floatability of the pattern at all. It's plastic, it's not glass. And I'll just get rid of that. Take our hackle plier, uh, whip finisher. Give that one more. Secure that. You can varnish it as well if you wish. Remove that. And I just turn it around in the vise. Like so. Attach our tying thread again to the post and wind it down into the thorax. That's good. Remove that. Free your hackle from your post material and then we'll Wrap the hackle. Again, this can be to your own likings, whether it be sparse or dense. I like it kind of halfway. And then take care that you don't tie down any of the hackle fibres when you're tying it down. There we go. We'll trim our post down to the size that we want it. That'll do us just fine there. And we'll trim off the remaining hackle. Drop a varnish just here. Whip finisher. Again, under all the fibres. And that's it. Just remove that tying thread carefully. There we are. I'll turn it back around. But there we are. There's the finished zebra parachute. And as usual, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.